Oh, tutashirikiana hivyo, tutafanya kazi hivyo na tutapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Jana mulisikia sasa wale watu walikuwa wanasungumuza mambo ya dialogue, wamemalizana na hiyo kazi. Na tunawapongeza wamemaliza hiyo kazi, sasa tuungane tupeleke Kenya mbele. Yeah. Wametoa mapendekezo na hiyo mapendekezo yote wametoa ni sawa. Mahali wamesema tupunguze gharama ya serikali ile watu wanaenda eh, safari ile watu wamesema ipunguzwe by 50 uh, by 30%. Ingine wamesema ipunguzwe by 50%. Hiyo ya 50% nimefanya tayari kupunguza hiyo by 50%. Ile wanasema ipunguzwe by 30% mimi napendekeza hata tuongeze ikue 50% ndio tupunguze zaidi ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele because we must learn to live within our means yale mambo mengine yote wamependekeza sasa nyinyi wabunge muende mukalie hiyo maneno tumalizane sisi wa Kenya wengine tuungane sasa tushirikiane na kujenga taifa letu la Kenya bila ugomvi bila chuki na bila ya kugawana tuwe pamoja so that we can move together as a country and therefore i want to congratulate all the teams that were involved in the dialogue process they have come up with recommendations i i have seen the recommendations they are in good stead all the recommendations they have made they are practical we are going to work on those recommendations to reduce in areas they have recommended to do whatever they have uh, recommended in parliament those that belong to the executive i will make sure that we execute without any delay the job of the rest of us as kenyans now is to unite and move together into the future to build our country to build the unity of the citizens of our country and to work on our economy so that we can grow we can grow jobs and we can enhance production and productivity so that we can reduce the cost of living and we can create opportunities for Kenyans to be their best kwa hivyo ndugu zangu watu wa peace food mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa maombi yenu kutuombea kuombea taifa letu la Kenya na niwahakikishie ya kwamba Kenya is going to go places. Tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi. Mumeniuliza ya kwamba tujenge hiyo kanisa pamoja. Eh, Bishop JJ nimekusikia. Eh, nitakutafutia shilingi milioni tano ya kupanga hiyo kazi. Utani utanitembelea pale umesema unataka kuja kutembea. Eh, nitakupanga hiyo maneno wiki hii unitembele eh? na na ukuja na seneta <laughs> mimi nimesikia kuna seneta hapa ukuja na seneta ndio nipange hiyo kazi na hiyo ingine umesema nimekusikia eh, na nimekuelewa pia so nitapanga hiyo kazi eh, niko na kalamu inaweza kufanya hiyo kazi So eh, nitapanga hapo na kuna mambo mengine tutakuja tuongee vile tutaweza kusonga mbele pamoja na waumini wa kanisa hii na viongozi wengine na pia mji wetu wa, wa Nairobi. So kwenu nyinyi nyote nataka niseme asante sana. Mjumbe wenu amelieleza mambo ya kamae. I made a commitment Naona kuna watu wa Kamae hapa ama na magani. Eh, watu wa Kamae hapo. Eh, tumepanga mambo yenu na tumehakikisha ya kwamba wale squatters ambao wako na magari kubwa kubwa tumewaondoa ndio wale wale <laughs> Si ndio? Unajua hii nchi iko na maneno mingi. Nakuta mtu anasema yeye ni squatter na hako na V8. Sasa unamuuliza wewe ni squatter? Hata wewe ni zikota wa aina gani wewe? <laughs> eh? So tumemwambia hapana, si ndio? Sikota tunajua ni sikota ni kina nani. So tuna eh, nyorosha hiyo list na nimemwambia mjumbe wenu 
how we are going to work on it uh, tukimaliza hiyo kazi tutawapatia title zenu na tutapanga hiyo dunia iende sawa sawa na zile kazi zingine zote mimi nitarudi hapa tena na tena na tena mpaka tuhakikishe Kenya inasonga mbele so ndugu watu wa hapa Kahawa West na watu wa Roisambu na watu wa Kanairo asanteni sana mimi nawapenda sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na muendelee kutuombea na kuombea taifa letu la Kenya mwadhani ya muradhimi